Welcome back to Out and About. Now, as I mentioned just before the break, we've got a brand new cookery segment for you now with a new food content creator. So let's head over and meet food content creator Kripa Diwani and find out exactly what she's making this week. Kripa, it's lovely to be with you here today. Thank you so much for getting us here in your kitchen. Lots of stuff in front of us here, but we'll come onto that in just a minute. Tell me more about you and how you got into cooking. Well, I think in true 15 Minute Mom style, welcome to the 15 Minute Mom kitchen. Um, so my journey is quite interesting. Um, obviously coming from a family of uh, phenomenal uh, home chefs, uh, there was always that interest in cooking, but I think growing up I never really cooked. Um, I was too busy studying as we are and the interest probably wasn't there. But um, it's, it's incredible how through observation, uh, there was so much that I learned and picked up that I didn't realize until I became a mom and I felt the need to cook for my family and cook healthy and understand what goes into food. Um, so that's a passion I've always had. Uh, my background's in organic chemistry, so uh, mainly carbohydrate chemistry, which isn't food related actually. But, but I do understand uh, carbohydrates in a very different way, in a very scientific way. Uh, so knowing, um, knowing a lot about uh, components and, and nutrients and having this passion for nutrition, I felt that it kind of fitted into place. And somehow I got uh, into social media and I started food blogging. And now I create content, food content, and it's, it's phenomenal, it's, it's great fun. Good. Uh, I'm excited to see what science you're going to apply to the kitchen here today. Tell me exactly what you're going to be making. So I'm going to start off with a broccoli crust pizza. Uh, this is a healthier version to your uh, gluten pizza uh, because obviously it doesn't have any dough. The base is made of broccoli and we're going to add so many vegetables that you're going to get uh, all those vegetables in one meal especially for the children, which is always hard to get you know, that many vegetables in one meal. So run me through the ingredients we've got in front of us and what you're going to be using. Okay, so we're going to start using uh, two small medium-sized um, heads of broccoli and stems, no wastage. And this is going to be part of the base with some nutritional yeast, which is extremely healthy for the health. And it's a, actually quite a complete protein. It's got the nine amino acids that are building blocks to protein. We're using some Parmesan eggs, chili if it's not for the children. I quite like my, my, my green chilies and everything. Uh, some oregano, it's not pizza without some oregano. And cheese. So our binding agents for that is going to be um, the eggs and the cheese, which will keep that crust really nice and together and crispy. Now, no pizza is complete without toppings. Absolutely, so apart from our um, pizza sauce, which I'm going to go through, we have some colorful rainbow toppings. We have sweet corn, green peppers, red peppers, red onions, and jalapenos, if there. <laughs> uh, and pizza sauce, we've obviously got lots of different bits here as well. That's what are we going to be using to make the sauce? So we will be using some chopped tomatoes. I tend to use organic chopped tomatoes from the tin because they don't have any additives or preservatives. Some chopped garlic. I have some red onion, slightly sweeter and mellow. And then we have our spices. We have some paprika, some Himalayan salt. And then I'm going to add a little trick of mine, which is a little bit of ketchup, which gives it that slight sweetness that you need. And obviously to um, get those aromas, those flavors off the onion and garlic, we're going to use some olive oil. Sounds good. Right, lots of things in front of us. Should we get started? Absolutely. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the base first, so that can get cooking, and then we'll make the pizza sauce. And once that is on, we can add the toppings and this will allow the recipe to roll quickly, true 15 minute mom style. Perfect. So for this, we're gonna need a food processor and we're going to add our broccoli, raw broccoli straight in. Don't need much chopping here. So you can just actually pull out the florets and stick them in. Leaves, florets, stems, everything. There's absolutely no waste here. So broccoli comes out. So your consistency is quite grainy. There we go. So the broccoli has been blitzed and now we're going to add all the other ingredients to bind this into a good base. I'm going to add two small eggs. I'm 
I'm going to add quarter cup Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to use quarter cup nutritional yeast. This is another great source of protein, especially for the vegans. I'm going to add uh, three chopped green chilies because I like my spice. Like spice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just a sprinkle of oregano as you like. Freshly ground black pepper is always the best. 250 grams of grated mozzarella. You can use any cheese. You can use some um, cheddar, uh, vegan cheese, whatever you fancy. I'm going to put half of this in and I'm going to leave the other half for toppings. And now I'm going to go in with my hands. So I've lined an oven tray with some baking paper. This is great because it'll absor help absorb more juices. Okay, so we're going to transfer this over. I'm going to make a big sheet pizza. Wow, okay. I'm going to transfer this over. And I'm going to press it down to shape it as flat as possible. And then one more final reassurance that we get as much moisture out as possible is using kitchen roll okay. and pressing down. Dab it down. Dab it down a little bit. Okay, so that is removing all excess, which is not much. And we are going to place this in the oven on high grill, so whatever the highest grill is in the oven. And it has to be under the grill because you want it to crisp. So I preheated the oven so it's nice and hot and I'm going to turn it to grill. Okay, Krupa, so the pizza base is now in the grill. So whilst that's cooking away, what are we going to do next? We're going to get cracking with the sauce. Perfect. To start off, we're going to heat the pan and add some olive oil. Then we're going to put a half a teaspoon of garlic so that it's not too strong. And probably one to two tablespoons of chopped onions. And I'm using red here. You're going to let this cook in, in the oil uh, ever so slightly, just until it's translucent. You don't want to burn the garlic because then all the flavors are lost. And it has just become translucent enough now for me to add the tomatoes. That's one tin of chopped tomatoes. Straight in. There we go. I'm going to mix that in. That's out of the way. I like to add a little bit of paprika. Um, I think it gives it a little tang. So I'm going to add some paprika. A generous sprinkle, maybe half a teaspoon. I'm going to add that one tablespoon of ketchup. If you like your sauce sweeter, add more ketchup. Is that really the reason why you'd want to add ketchup to this? Just to add a little bit of sweetness to it? Also, it gives it good color. Because oh, okay. ketchup is, is darker, it's more, yeah, and it's more concentrated. So it does give it a little bit more of that red color. Okay. And add a little pinch of salt. Um, so the beauty about Himalayan salt is it's actually higher in minerals, so that's one advantage. Um, and it's still got the same flavor, but it's also lower in iodine. Right. It's... And it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Voila. Sauce is ready. Okay. All right. I'm going to check on the base. Right. So there we have it. That was no more than about five minutes, I would say, under the grill. It looks and smells amazing. What are we going to do next? Please? I'm glad. So now all that's left is adding our pizza sauce on top. I'm going to splat it all because then it's easier to spread. And we're going to spread it evenly through the base. Now, as you can see, the base is all combined. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Right. So that's spread really lovely then across the whole base. We're nice. going to add a lot of these uh, colorful vegetables. So I'm going to actually start with the cheese. Okay. So this is the remaining cheese and you can of course add as much cheese as you like. I am going to start layering in the diagonal all these beautiful vegetables. So I'm going to start with sweet corn. In the oven for another two to three minutes. I mean, wow. First of all, I think is the first thing to say. That looks amazing. Well, we're going to cut up a little slice here. There you go. Nice. Super cheesy. Great stuff. Great. Well, let's 
get stuck into this. Uh, we can't not do this, but it smells amazing. Krupa, thank you so much for making this. Thank you for having me. I'm sure you all enjoyed that just as much as I did, and there'll be more from Creeper in the coming weeks. That's all we've got time for in this week's show, but we'll be back on your screens again next weekend. So until then, have a wonderful week. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.